Council plans to rezone much of the Santa Cruz County community of Rio Rico have now been withdrawn after the idea faced some serious community outrage. News for Tucson's Chorus Nylander has been following the tent situation for months and has the latest from that area. Just next week, there was supposed to be a big meeting here before the county supervisors to make a final decision on this proposal, but now it's off the table. An ambitious proposal to rezone much of Rio Rico along the I-19 corridor has been withdrawn. The proposal would have rezoned around 3,500 acres of land owned by Andrew Jackson, allowing commercial and industrial uses. Concerned residents' biggest fears are mining operations. Some worry this isn't the end. We know this is not going away. Robin Lucky formed the Calabasas Alliance to organize efforts to try and protect the region. We feel like it's a temporary win. I think we still have to uh, work to make sure we don't have a manganese processing facility, you know, in the neighborhood, much less in our county. Mining company South 32, which operates the Hermosa mine near Patagonia, expressed interest in processing the materials to make electric vehicle batteries within Santa Cruz County. News for Tucson obtained a letter from Andrew Jackson to county officials, making it clear his proposal was to support South 32, but the company denies having any involvement. County Community Development Director Frank Dillon is now recommending more community outreach is done before moving forward with future proposals of this magnitude. It reflects the fact that the county did listen to some of the constituents. We need to find ways of attracting and creating, you know, good paying jobs for our residents. County Supervisor Manny Reese and other elected officials have been accused of favoring the mine due to community investments like a donation of over $100,000 earlier this week to local schools. When asked if that will help the mine's interests. The answer is no, and it will always be no, and we will take all the facts into consideration at the end before we make any decision that affects the mine. Now, Jackson could easily come forward with the same or an adjusted proposal and try this again, but that remains to be seen. I reached out to him several times to get his response withdrawing his proposal, but didn't hear back. Reporting from Nogales, Cora Snylander, News 4 Tucson.